Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and this is a tropical update number two on Hurricane Matthew. Hurricane Matthew is becoming a dangerous hurricane in the Central Caribbean. The latest particulars on Matthew, uh, as of the 8 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time advisory, location is at 13.8 north, 70.3 west, moving west-southwest at 14, minimum pressure is 971, maximum sustained winds now at 105 miles per hour. Uh, hurricane hunters are flying into the system doing research. Uh, and uh, as stated on the advisory and according to them, Matthew continuing to intensify over the South Central Caribbean. Uh, the system, just to give you a little bit more details on exactly where location-wise it is, it's about uh, 500 or so miles, uh, 520 uh, miles east-southeast of Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, and uh, in terms of advisories, the government of Carousel discontinued the tropical storm watch for its island and that there is a tropical storm watch in effect for Aruba and also the Colombia Venezuela border of uh, Rojacha. Um, a tropical storm watch means that conditions are possible within the watch area, in this case within the next 24 to 36 hours. Uh, interests elsewhere along the uh, coast of Venezuela, Colombia should monitor Matthew. Also Jamaica, Hispaniola, Eastern Cuba should monitor progress and likely a hurricane watch would be required for Jamaica later today. Um, also to mention that other areas such as uh, the Cayman Islands, Central, Cuba and the Bahamas should also be paying very close attention to this system. Um, and in terms of uh, conditions and so on, uh, tropical storm conditions are possible in Aruba this morning. Tropical storm conditions uh, are possible within uh, all the watch areas in Colombia beginning later today. Rainfall totals two to four in isolated higher mounts over Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao through Saturday. Rainfall totals two to four inches isolated higher mounts expected off the coast of Colombia, Venezuela, uh, border uh, to Rojacha. Uh, rainfall totals one to two inches with isolated higher mounts uh, are expected along the coast of Venezuela from Coro to the Colombian border. Swells generated by Matthew are expected to affect portions of the coast of Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, Venezuela, Colombia. During the next few days, these swells are likely to cause life-threatening surf and rip current conditions. Please consult your local weather office for more details. Uh, so here we go. Um, here is the present satellite imagery of Matthew. You could definitely see the uh, pronounced west-southwest movement over the last few hours. The white dot indicating the present center of the system. And uh, also to mention that uh, it is actually south and uh, south of the uh, forecast plots and uh, we'd expect a continued shift of the cone, uh, making uh, possible higher threats towards Jamaica as well. Uh, here is the present satellite view, and as you can see, um, just as the sun pops over the storm, you can see very clearly a intensifying system. Uh, this is the overall uh, West Atlantic view, uh, clear view of the hurricane, of course, our very decent, strong, high-pressure ridge, as well as the uh, upper-level low, you can see a bit of it, a uh, bit of the winds on the outer edges of it here. Um, we'll definitely uh, work on seeing on how that uh, works out. Uh, also, uh, 
uh, running through here. Uh, we'll be dissipating uh, as of the latest charts, high pressure building back. We'll have to see how this uh, ends up. Forecast models for the system here take it even more so towards Jamaica. We'll be watching to see if this uh, continues to uh, shift westwards here on the charts. And these are the other models just to give you an idea. Current stirring layer has said more west southwest to west movement and then eventually turn north. Uh, depending, we, the only problem is we got to figure out is exactly when it will make that turn. Uh, and uh, just to leave you on this very last one, the forecast cone uh, with the model inlays over there, you can definitely see that the uh, models are definitely trending further west, and it is on the west side of the cone. I uh, would expect a forecast track to change uh, more further to the west and maybe even a continued uh, trend more to the west. But either way, Jamaica, Cuba, uh, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Bahamas, all you guys should be paying very close attention to this system uh, over the next several days. Um, system not really expected to make any impacts to any of these areas at least until maybe um, maybe late Sunday, Monday time frame, maybe not till Tuesday, just depending on how quickly the system moves and how far west it moves. So yeah, that's pretty much it from me. This has been a relatively quick update on um, Matthew. We'll be going, uh, having more updates and live events later today and onwards through the weekend with more detailed discussions on what the system will do. So uh, I'm Adam McDoom for the Caribbean Weather Desk and uh, top update on Matthew. Thank you for watching.